Like this candle as a symbol of the joy to be found in the kingdom of heaven, in the kingdom of earth. For the Lord elevates the lowly, releases the captive, and brings sight to the blind. We rejoice in his justice and mercy. Faithful. 
faithfulness to all generations. Look at the candy kit. What do you see? Stripes that are red, like the blood shed for me. White for my Savior, who is sinless and pure. James for Jesus, my Lord, that's for sure. Turn it around, and a staff you will see. Jesus, my set shepherd, is coming for me. Let's pray. Very God. Thank you for all the fun and excitement of Christmas. Thank you for the amazing story that tells us about the birth of Jesus. Thank you for sending us your son, a gift from you into this world. As we look at the lights on the tree, remind us of the light Jesus brought to this earth. When we sing songs and carols, remind us of the hope Jesus showed everyone. And as we open the gifts and presents, Remind us that Jesus was the best gift ever. Help us to share what special times we can with family and friends this very different Christmas. And to share the light, hope and gift of Jesus to this broken world. Amen.
Son, call him Jesus. What? Why is this possible? With God, anything is possible. What's that? Oh, no, yes, of course. Don't worry. I'll let him know all about Joseph. Don't worry about a thing. What about Joseph? <laughs> Gabriel! Don't sneak up on me like that. No wonder Mary was terrified, screaming all over the place. Make a turn. Like that, but, but anyway, what about Joseph? What about Joseph? Yes. Well, ever since Mary became pregnant, there's been rumours all over town. Apparently, Joseph is now saying he's not going to marry Mary. And we, we just can't have that, Gabriel. We really can't. So God wants you to go to Joseph in a dream and tell him to marry Mary. Right, so I've got to go and tell him to marry Mary. No, wait. Marry Mary. Hello, Joseph. Oh, oh, don't wake up. Stay asleep. Oh, that's right. Shh. So, Mary's going to have a baby, but you're not to worry. All right? You're going to marry Mary. Whew, I'm glad I got that right. And she's going to have a baby. Call him Jesus. And this is the exciting bit. He will save the people from their sins. Have you got that, Joseph? All right. Bye. I just heard this dream. This dream. I need to go and find a man. Joseph. All right. Bye. Very well. No screaming at all. Yes, Gabriel. Well, it uh, it did help. He was asleep, didn't it? Yes, that, that does always help. But uh, what do we do now? Well, Gabriel, I suppose all we can do is wait. Right. Okay. Michael, I'm bored. We've been waiting here for ages. Gabriel, would you be quiet, please? Look, look. They're on the move. There is a census, Gabriel. Of their family. And Joseph's family, well, they're from Bethlehem. Ah, although look at poor Joseph. They're having to travel a long old way, aren't they? And poor Mary. Him travel a long old way, aren't they? And poor Mary. Imagine having to walk all that way. <laughs> Ah, uh, look, look, look. They finally arrived in Bethlehem. Now, if only they could find somewhere to stay. Oh, don't worry, Michael. I'm sure that won't be a problem at all. I hope not. Sorry, no room. Sorry, no room. This is terrible. I need to sit down. I'm sorry, dear. Michael, this isn't looking good. Don't worry, Gabriel. I'm sure God has a plan. Look. Oh, thank goodness! I was getting worried. Well, I did tell you not to worry, didn't I? Although I, uh, I can't quite see what room he's going to put him into. Wait a second. Is he? Is he put him in a in a stable? Is he? he has. Oh, look, it's a donkey! For goodness, a donkey! We will all stand for our second carol, Away at a Major.
I'm sure God has a plan. Look! Actually, I do have something to say, follow me. Oh, thank goodness! I was getting worried. Well, I did tell you not to worry, didn't I? Although I, uh, I can't quite see what room he's going to put him into. Wait a second. Has he, has he put him in a, in a stable? A st he has! Oh, look, it's a donkey! For goodness, a donkey! Gabriel, this will never do. Mm. Mm. But Michael, look! Mary's had her baby! It's Jesus and... Oh, <laughs> isn't it cute? Oh, Hello. wonderful. Hello. Imagine that. God's son, born in a stable of all places, surrounded by dirt and animals. Remarkable. It really is. It's quite something. Although, look at Joseph. He looks like he's had a bit of a shock. <laughs> quite. Well, there you go, Gabriel. That really was wonderful, although we can't hang around. Lots of work to do. We have to deliver a message to the shepherds. So hurry along, Gabriel. Let's go. Bye. 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 I'm bored. I'm so bored. I'm really, really bored. Greetings. Please don't panic, please, please don't panic. <laughs> Michael, scaring some shepherds and their flock, per show. Gabriel, be quiet, okay? Okay, everyone, we've come with some amazing news just for you guys. Tonight, a saviour has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord of all. And you shall know him when you find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. You got that? Wonderful! And to celebrate, myself and some of my angel friends shall sing for you. Alleluia! 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 Everybody, let's go see the Saviour. Right behind you. Slow down! I can't I keep up! moving through the sky? Yes, and look, it appears the wise men are following it. Yes, I wonder how many wise men there are. Let me just do a quick count, okay? Uh, one, two, three. I heard they went to Jerusalem first by mistake and met angry King Herod. But luckily, they found their way to Bethlehem with their gifts. That's a relief. I bring you gold, fit for a king. I bring you frankincense, praise be to God. I bring you myrrh, for all you must do. Thank you. Michael, those gifts are very nice, aren't they? Mm. Although, I would have said no to a bit of chocolate. Gabriel! Sorry. <laughs> Poor Joseph. He still looks a bit shocked by it all. <laughs> Quite. And it's just... It's strange to think, Michael, isn't it, that those innkeepers and the people who live in Bethlehem, well, they don't realise that something incredible has just happened. Well, yes, Gabriel, of course. However, think about it. A young girl, the carpenter, a bunch of animals, some smelly shepherds, and three wise guys from the east. They all know that something amazing has just taken place. <sighs> I don't know about you, Michael. But I can't wait to see what Jesus does next. <laughs> Gabriel, yes. Me neither. But in the meantime, we work to do. So come along, Gabriel. Yes. Hurry up. Okay, right behind you. Our New Testament scripture reading will be read by Pauline.
my Bible reading is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 20, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. That night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terribly frightened, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news of great joy for everyone. The Saviour, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem, the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped snugly in strips of cloth. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to all whom God favors. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Come on, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this wonderful thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They ran to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. Then the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherds' story were astonished, but Mary quietly treasured these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their fields and flocks, glorifying and praising God for what the angels had told them, and because they had seen the child, just as the angel had said. Amen. And now our minister, Paul. Well, I think the boys and girls deserve a huge round of applause for their nativity. That was brilliant. Are you all excited? Are you? Is anybody excited here? Yes, Cheryl, thank you. It is four hours, 12, sorry, four days, 12 hours, 28 minutes and 30 seconds until the big day. And I cannot wait. I just love Christmas uh, time. Uh, and I can't wait to see uh, you all on Christmas Day. I can't wait to see uh, the toys uh, that you bring. And also to the grown-ups, if you get anything and you want to bring it and show us on Christmas Day, you're more than welcome. Uh, and I hope you will all wear something Christmassy on Christmas Day as we come to celebrate Christmas together. And just for a moment now, I thought that we would think a little bit more about that first Christmas and to think about the meaning of Christmas. And one of the things that I love about Christmas is getting presents. And so I thought I would bring along with me today some presents that I'm getting uh, to help uh, us think about the message of Christmas and to think about that first Christmas. Because in the Bible reading that Pauline just read, the angels came to the shepherds to tell them the important message of Christmas. So will we have a look and see what I'm getting for Christmas? Will we all wake up? Now, present number one. What is in here? Yes. Liverpool Legends DVD. Oh, yes. Do, do, you know, do you know what, boys and girls? I was really hoping that I would get this present because I just love Liverpool. Liverpool really are the greatest football team in the world. Isn't that, uh, isn't that right, isn't that right, Dr. Martin? Oh, and so I can't wait to watch these on Christmas Day. What have we got? Five DVDs. Excellent. That's my Christmas sorted. And the message that the angels brought to the shepherds was one that people had been hoping for. The people of Israel 
had been living under the rule of the Romans. And they were hoping that God would come and free them, that God would come and bring a savior. So the people were waiting. They were hoping that God would come to them. So there we have my Liverpool DVDs. George, don't steal that now uh, after church. I'm watching you. Will we have a look and see what my second present is? Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, I have an envelope. Let's see what's inside. It's a Christmas card. I wonder who it's from. Dearest Paul, Merry Christmas, lots of love, your great aunt and uncle. Wasn't that really nice? I've got this lovely Christmas card from my great auntie and uncle. But you know what? There's actually something else inside this envelope. 20 pounds. Wow. It's not really generous because, you know, I haven't seen my great aunt and uncle for a very long time. And I was expecting a card. They send me a card every year. But I wasn't expecting so much money. And you know, boys and girls, remember I said how the people were hoping that God would come? But the angels told the shepherds that that had happened. But it wasn't in the way that they expected. Because the people were expecting God to come as a mighty king, uh, as a strong warrior who would come and he would fight the Romans and he would free the people and give them back their land. But as the boys and girls, as you reminded us, God came not as a mighty king, not as a strong warrior, but he came as a tiny baby. He came as God's only son. So one more present. What do I have in my last present? A woolly hat. Oh, I am so glad that Nicola bought me a woolly hat because this is exactly what I need. It's getting cold outside, and you know, when I go to the school gates uh, to pick up Elan Kayla, I'm always freezing cold, and I always have my nice, big, warm, woolly coat that Simon always uh, takes the mickey out of me uh, for wearing because I'm always really cold. I'm not like George running around half naked all the time. I need to be warm and so I need my hat to keep my head warm. And the final thing that the shepherd or that the angels announced on that first Christmas day was something that all of us need. God had sent his son. Not so that the people of Israel could have their land back, but so that all the people of the world could know God's love, could know that God was there for them at all times and in every situation, that God loves us all and wants us to live with him and for him, for all eternity. So boys and girls, I hope this Christmas time that you get what you hope for. I hope that you get more than you expected. And I hope you get a woolly hat, something that you need to keep you warm. And I hope that as you enjoy your presence on Christmas Day, that you remember the greatest gift of all, God's Son, our Savior. Amen. This.
Members of the Bible class will now pray for others. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us all safely here, whether it be in person or virtually. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us all safely here, whether it be in person or virtually. We pray that you will keep us safe and protect us in the coming weeks ahead of the festivities of Christmas. We pray for those affected by the pandemic, in hospital, at home isolating or shielding, or the key workers helping to keep the country moving forward. We pray for all those who have lost loved ones to the pandemic, or face lasting health problems as a consequence. We pray that we can return to some sort of normal in the near future. We pray for those who have missed special occasions as a result. And finally, we pray for those working in the COVID wards and in labs researching and developing a vaccine to cure this disease. We pray that a vaccine is made wild widely available, providing protection to those who need it. Dear Lord, as we come together at this special time of the year, we pray for Christians around the world who are preparing to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We pray that you are with all those who are persecuted for believing in you. Bring comfort and peace to all those that have faith in you. We pray for church communities around the world as they struggle with the ongoing pandemic. Give them the strength to face difficult situations. Be with all those unable to gather in your name because of the threat of coronavirus. Let them know that you are always near. Lord, be with all of us in our church here in Dundonald. Bless all those in our congregation that are facing difficulties, loneliness, illnesses, or financial worries. Let us all know that you are with us and give us the strength to face each new day and the challenges ahead. We pray for the Methodist Church in Ireland. We pray that the work continues in your name to bring peace, hope, and love to all across our land and across the world. Bless all missionaries across the world as they bring your message. Let us all have comfort knowing that you are with us always. Dear God, thank you for looking after us during COVID. I pray for the UK government and the decisions they are making on our behalf. Thank you for all the NHS workers helping all in need and those who have COVID. Bless all the people who own businesses and are getting financial help from our government. Help the NI Assembly to make wise decisions and keep each member safe from COVID. Help us to realise there are so many people who haven't got what we have and keep all those who are vulnerable safe during this difficult and dark time we are living in. Lord God, this morning a fourth Advent candle was lit and we are reminded of how close we are now to Christmas Day. We know that Christmas this year is going to be very different for many people and that for many of our families and friends, they will not get to spend time with all their loved ones as they normally would at Christmas. There may be fewer people around the dinner table, there will be less jumping in the car to go visit friends and relatives, and all the usual festivities are scaled back. And so we pray 
that you would help us to find other ways of reaching out, of keeping in touch with those who may be lonely or sad, and they won't get to enjoy the big family gatherings we, we look forward to at Christmas. Help us be mindful of those who'd appreciate a phone call or a video chat, not just at Christmas or even through these COVID restricted times, but to remember to do so even when we return to the more, more normal times. Lord, we pray that we would, we, would, we would all find ways to enjoy this Christmas season and to remember the child born in a manger who was the greatest gift any of us could receive. May that message still be our focus this Christmas, even in the midst of an ever-changing world. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Our closing carol, Born is the King, please join in with Kids Zone and Bible Class on video. Mr. Paul will now lead us in the benediction. I think we should say a huge big thank you before we say the benediction to everybody uh, who took part uh, in the service this morning, for me, for leading us, uh, for uh, Isaac and Catherine, for praying, uh, for all the boys and girls who took part in the nativity and the Bible class for praying. Thank you to uh, our wonderful tech team at the back, Cheryl, Simon and Gail. Uh, thank you all uh, so much. I think they all deserve another round of applause.
act. So let us bless each other with the words of the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen.